This is the second part of our lesson on calculating slope, specifically from a graph. So this is example B. I have yet another line, and I want to see if I can find the slope of this line. So I am going to start at the y-intercept, which appears to be at 1. And then I'm going to try to follow my line to see if I can find another point on the line. So I'm going to follow the line, and I'm going to look for a place where it crosses on the corner of a grid line. Now it kind of looks like it might be here, and if it was here, that means I've gone down one, two, three, and I've gone over one, two. So I should be able to go down three again, and over another two, and still be on my line, which I'm not. So I'm pretty sure that point, it's a little bit off. So I'm going to keep going. Ooh. I think there's a point here at 3 and negative 3. So that means I would have gone down 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1, 2, 3. So I'm going to follow it again. We go down 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. I'm still on the line, so I'm feeling really good about that. So we went down 4. We subtracted 4 from y, and we went over 3. We added 3 to our x. So that means that my slope, which is delta y over delta x, should be minus 4 divided by 3. Now if you want, you can go one step further. A negative divided by a positive makes a negative. So we could just write the negative out front and then say it's negative 4 over 3. But if you want to leave it as negative 4 over 3, that's fine. Um, or you can write it out front as a single sign. If I take a look at my next example, there is a little warning that comes with this question. It says pay attention to the scale. So you'll notice when you're looking at this graph that every square is not one. So on the previous two graphs, the scale was, it was going zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. Same thing on the y-axis, it went zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. So this one is not doing that. This one on the x-axis is going zero, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. And then on the y-axis is going four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty. So they're not going up by ones, and they're not even going up by the same numbers on the x and the y axis. So I'm going to start the same way I did with the previous question. I'm going to find my y-intercept. So in this case, the y-intercept is 8. And then I am going to follow my line and see if I can find another point on that line. So we're looking for some place where it crosses through the corner of a grid line. Now it's kind of close at 9, but I can see it's not actually there. But I think it might be good at 15 and negative 4. Now the problem is, is that I can't go forwards um, and check that point because I'm out of line, but I could go backwards. How far did we go? We went 1, 2, 3 squares, and then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares. So I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, one, two, three, four, five. That definitely puts me on the line, so I feel good about that. So when I go to count out the slope for this one, it is going down three squares, but every square is not one. So it's actually going down by fours every time. So it went down four, eight, twelve. So this went down. 12. If you're not good at counting by fours, that's okay. You can take the squares and count. We went down 1, 2, 3. So you can say it's negative 3. And then every square is worth 4, so times 4 gives me negative 12. On the x part, we've gone 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 squares over. Every square here is worth 3, so 5 times 3 is 15. We've added 15 onto our x. Or you're welcome to count by 3, so 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, if you want to do it that way. So the slope of this line 
is negative 12 over 15. Now, this one, I can actually reduce this fraction, and that's the first time we've ever been able to do that. So 12 and 15 both divide by the number 3. So I could make this fraction a little bit smaller by dividing the top and the bottom by 3. So that means my slope would be negative 12 divided by 3, so that's negative 4, and then 15 divided by 3 is 5. So negative 4 divided by 5. Now you can write it as negative 4, like the whole numerator is negative, or you could write it as just the whole fraction being negative, and then 4 over 5. Now if I try negative 4 over 5, that means I should be able to go down 4 and over 5. So down 4 doesn't mean 4 squares, it means from 8 down to 4, that would be 4 units. And then over 5, there's 3, 4, 5, that kind of puts me in the right spot. So it's just because of the scale on our graph, we didn't get those numbers because they're in awkward spots. Um, but it's the same slope, it's just the numbers are reduced a little bit. Okay, so there are some practice questions that I would like you to try, and then if you join us in the next video, we will talk about how to calculate slope using an equation.